But I find that maybe black conservative pastors and leaders are not debating as fiercely and engaging that we need to put scriptural truths and the mandate to make disciples of all nations above our blackness or our whiteness, because white people do it too. So do Mexicans, so do Armenians, so do Chinese people, so do Korean mm -hmm. Christians. Mm -hmm. So it's not just so you know, this is not an AME right. black right. church issue. Right. This is a ethnocentric issue. And, and many movements are doing it. Korean right. churches are doing it. Uh, 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 Italian, Brazilian churches are doing it. And, and, and I'm generalizing here because there's always the remnant that understands I am black, I am Arabic, I am Armenian, I am Korean, but I still need to be able to make disciple with my white neighbor, my black neighbor, and even invite them to my church and make it as comfortable for them to, to be welcomed and not constantly put my blackness into their Korean face and say, damn it, you better embrace this black theology that sees theology even through the lens of blackness <laughs> and, and not have a theology for your Korean yeah. homeland and your Korean people that you're burdened about and a, and a gospel that is actually, you know, can, can, can contextualize and find its way like water. It can get through the portals and the cracks into every culture and race. And that's why the mandate is to make disciples of all nations. What's your thoughts on that? 